This is the Calgary Board of Education building in the East Village. It's built in a very particular and striking style. A style that the more I learn about it, the more I'm confused about what it means. I'm talking about brutalism. But what is brutalism and why does it look so brutal? It's a common misconception that brutalism is named because its designs are harsh and imposing, but it actually comes from the French phrase beton brut, which means raw concrete. After World War II, Europe needed to quickly rebuild and architects saw an opportunity to use new technology and materials to meet this challenge. This often involved using cheap and readily available materials like rough poured concrete, glass, and wood. Rainer Bonham first popularized the term in a 1954 essay where he described brutalist buildings as having a clear exhibition of structure. In non-architect speak, this basically means that brutalist buildings are functional, straightforward, and honest. So it's about cheap and functional buildings? Not exactly. Since brutalism was first described, there's been a debate on whether it's even a style at all and instead is a philosophy of ethics. During the late 20th century, brutalism became associated with social progressivism as governments in the UK used brutalist buildings to revitalize urban centers with low-income housing and community projects like the South Bank Feeder. All of this was in stark contrast to the metal and glass towers of the international style that was associated with wealth and privileged elites. So it's no surprise that the city of Calgary used brutalism to kickstart the revitalization of the East Village in the 60s. This is all just a long-winded way of saying brutalism is more than just big, cheap, blocky concrete buildings. It's also a way of thinking, a way of challenging modern design to be functional for everyone. So the next time you see one of these buildings, ask yourself, are they brutal or just honest?